Hello friends, welcome to Mana Birds. My name is Murilo Ambra. And today we're gonna play with the most expensive deck in Pauper. In Paper or in Magic Online. We can call the Gru Monarch or Initiative or Turbo Deck. We're gonna play all spells we have in turn one or two to have the Monarch, to have the Initiative and try to win the game for that. Um, let's understand a little bit of the deck. We have 17 lands, 8 of the depletion counter land. So come with 2 counters and we remove 1, tap and it's gonna add 2 mountains or 2 forest. Also 8 mountains and 1 forest. We have a lot of ramp to cast the spells. For Lot's Petal, the traditional one, for Rites of Flame, the name is Sticker Goblin. That's kind of the new card. If you don't know, it's three mana choo choo. It's gonna add four, five, or six mountains to you. But it's triggered just if the goblin stay on the table. If they respond and kill it with is not found, Hydroblast is not gonna add any mana. Also, we have the Simian Spirit Guide. Remove that from the hand and add one mountain. And to fix the color mana, also burn three emissary. Because we have one green card really important, the Avenging Hunter. And to cast that, we're gonna have just four, eight, 12, 13 green man on the deck there's a good number for a splash i don't believe we're gonna have any problem of course it's magic the gathering <laughs> sometimes you just don't have a luck that can happen removals for lightning bolt and for a braid and initiative for a vinge hunter and three trial blaze blazers torch and for Monarch, for Crimson Fleet Commodore and one Stouch Throne Guard. I'm sorry, Stouch Throne Guard. Is the artifact 5125 Vigilance? And you have the Monarch. It's not famous, people don't play a lot of this card. And we have a problem to play against decks with one one creatures because you're gonna cast all the cards to have monarch to have the initiative and they start attack and gonna lose it there's in the in the sideboard we have four brief weapon and also one cast into the fire to try to keep monarch initiative for us and to kill the opponent we need to attack if you play against any fog deck we have two of the flurry pain against calls gate turbo fog also hydro blast and blue elemental blast is a problem because we're gonna cast all the spells to try to bring name sticker goblin and the, and the commodore and they just counter or they just kill it with blue elemental blast so we're gonna bring those counters here to try to fix this problem and gorilla shaman you know you we always play against affinity and this deck is really strong so we're gonna bring it to gorilla shaman for a brief weapon and one cast into the fire against affinity i hope it's gonna be enough and why this deck is so expensive in the description of the YouTube channel, we're always gonna see the deck list, the decks that I play the leagues. So here we have the Groom Monarch. And let's check it out the cards. Just the lands, look at that. The counter green and the red. 27 ticks and 15. Oh wow, that is too much. And all cards are expensive. Name Sticker Goblin, 15. I paid, I paid cents in this card. When I saw this card in this deck, I said, when they bring it back to the Pauper Online, 
I bought and also in paper I bought like and 50 between 50 and 100 cards of that because I knew it was gonna be expensive also a lot of review when I see a card really powerful and just for cents I buy a lot Mm, Avenging Hunter 36 of course four cops 36 ticks the Commodore for Monarch almost 15 damn the torch is 11 and the sideboard is really expensive also the brief weapon is almost five ticks or 76 oh that is a lot flurry pain is not cheap also Gorilla Shaman is cheap and Pyroblast Red Elemental Blast didn't have the price here but it's really expensive also that's why this deck is really expensive if the deck is good I do not believe for one reason I never lose for this deck I don't know if I have just luck because opponent plays plays the the I forgot the name the monarch or initiative and I attack back with the creatures the last time that I played I don't know I think the deck is really weak but we're gonna try and please give me a like subscribe to the channel the channel is free it's always gonna be free let's see so enjoy the league let's go friends game number one we are on the draw we always want to be on the play with this deck, always. Playing against Tarmofir 3. Oh no, that is really, really bad because they're playing black. If they have the removal for the Sticker Goblin with that. So if he have right now the file or is not fault, he's going to kill the Sticker Goblin. He doesn't. There's a miracle, amazing. We are on the game. And look at that. Turn two, we exiled this, the spirit guide and we attack with everything. He's a nine and we have a monarch, wow. <laughs> and look as again, he didn't have the drawing sorrow. Cast down, no problem. So we attack, he's gonna 6. Question is, do I wanna go all in? Yes, I want to. Was my choice. I believe he doesn't have Drawing Sorrow, because if he has, he's supposed to play it last turn. We win. Nice. Was what, one minute game? <laughs> really fast. That's what we wanna. We wanna just cast all the spells in turn 1 and try to win with a monarch we take out one braid and bring cast into the fire because then we can use to to kill the plants we mulligan and this hand is amazing one two three four we have torch and the goblin sticker in turn two I'm sorry, turn one now. Oh wow. Turn one. He cannot play Snafout because he played Bojuka. It's not a swamp. We cannot complain. Turn one, we have initiative and two goblins, two two on the play. We took a forest just in case if we draw the bushwalker we needed the two mountains to for haste oh do this my friend that is too late he plays a plant we put both those cards in the graveyard i didn't want to use the forge with plus one plus one to my creatures plus two counters because we know next turn he gonna have a removal
This game can be really, really hard, but we start strong. How I said, if you don't start strong with this deck in turn 1, turn 2, you're not gonna win. We need luck. Sometimes we're gonna mulligan to 5, because we need to have probably all the cards of the combo handle, almost all. We draw a bolt, attack for 4. He block, okay. I thought he's gonna not block in using map to put a counter to try to take the initiative back. Drawing sorrow? Yes. Alright. We knew that was gonna happen. So we play catacombs, we create the 4 1 creature. Also, we have a goblin. We remove one counter. Three mana, two, two. Not that much. It is what it is. A Vigi Hunter? Nope. Not yet. Defile. Okay, in my Goblin. So probably he has another removal. Okay, he has. So let's go for the last ability. We bring one creature. There is a monarch with three counters. <clears throat> I'm gonna have hex proof until the next turn. One, two, three, four, five, Avenge Hunter. Okay. He took a back initiative. Blood Fountain. That was bad. Ooh, Lucas. Let's kill it. So we have Trample. So we can attack first. He's gonna block. And then we double bolt Avenger Hunter. If he doesn't block. Alright. So we did wrong. I was supposed to just attack. Because if he didn't block, he was he's gonna be dead mistakes crypt rats um all right if he doesn't have a removal he's dead right I believe I want both of the cards on top. So let's attack first. If he's not dead. Alright. He, he had casting down. We play Avenger Hunter. We need to use one land. And I pay one mana more. All right, I prefer to not use the land and I use the lot of pets. It's the same. This part of the game is not going to make any difference. So to kill my creature, he's going to be in just true life. If he doesn't have another removal, if he wants to use the rat. Bring Avenger Hunter again back. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Plus one, plus one counter. We block. Where we draw here? Another mountain. We kind of flooded, right? He blocked it. So he's gonna 5, we do catacombs, create a 4-1. Do I wanna play a monarch? Yes, I believe so. 
I'm doing a math if he can play rats and kill everything. Bushwalker. Drawing sorrow. Okay. So we're gonna use the last ability again. We're gonna bring another creature. Let's see what we're gonna find. Any creature they're gonna bring, we just play Bushwalker and attack together. It's gonna be a GG, right? If I'm not wrong. So take Avenging Hunter. Initiative. We take a land. Oh, he's so dead. Bushwalker is gonna negative 10. Boom! 1 0. The game was fun. Oh, we're missing one land in this hand. Look at that. Play against Master Denton. How are you doing, my friend? We are not on the play again. That is bad, but it's alright. We have the combo in turn two. <coughs> hand is really good, huh? Turn two, we are really strong. Oh no, that is a terrible match for us. Oh, we have the combo in. Oh no, we didn't have the turn one combo because we need the Lot's Petal for Avenging Hunter. No, we had. One. No, we didn't have, I'm sorry. It's alright, we're gonna have the combo in turn two. Let's see how many lanes we have. I have six, the max. So we play Lot's Petal. To play Avenge Hunter, I believe. Mm -hmm. And we can do Bushwalker and attack with everything. I didn't want to use Bushwalker. Why? Maybe I want to do Chrismo next turn. But my man, he had Kudota plus Bushwalker in turn three. I thought I was going to do the combo, but he combo before me. That was so strong. When you play against Monoride and he do Kudota and Bushwalker, like, there is nothing to do. We has we are in six. We dead for two boats. Offer a trap. Two more abilities for the initiative. We've got the monarch. I don't know for what. I mean there is nothing to do, so you need to try. <laughs> And with that, we are in five. We need to do double block in the goblin or tick. No, we are in one. We are in one. What's the chance to win this game? I mean, if he doesn't have a burn, we have a chance. Because next turn, we're going to have the trap. It's going to be 5 damage in him. We have 12 on the board. Oh, he has a vote. Alright. For one turn. Maybe if we start the game, we could win. We bring all the brief weapons. And we take out 3 abrades. And the artifact monarch. Um, I think that was a good idea. Maybe we could take another abrade and bring it cast into the fire also. It's a little slow, right? But we have brief weapon, so let's see if he's gonna come for the all wing and cast all the creatures and he clean the table with brief weapon. He knows we're gonna bring brief weapon. If you play against this deck, we know. We 
we play bushwalker to to slow down him a little bit and we have initiative this turn it's not bad huh it's not bad but the problem is if he has one removal we have a trouble because he's gonna remove my goblin bushwalker attack with Voldari Epicor and take the monarch and take the initiative and we don't have any creature to bring it back later I don't know if that was too smart to do goblin to be rider so he's probably gonna play it, attack <coughs> All right, we are in a good position here because we're going to do land, attack, and we do brief weapon in his turn. And we do a forge, so the goblin is not going to is not going to die for the brief weapon. Let's see, my man has three lands and up, oh, but we'll die for a boat. Yes. He attack with the brief weapon. We don't want to lose initi initiative. Epicor. With a trap, he's going to 14. Ooh, we just missed one land. Oh, have the blocker. Friends, you know just 8% of the people who watch my channel subscribe to the channel and the channel is free. It's unbelievable, right? You're doing wrong. You're doing wrong. And we have almost 4,000 hours watching the channel, but we need 1,000 subscribers. All right, so now he took... The initiative so help me out to have the subscribers please let's grow the channel slowly because i'm really busy perfect let's bring back the initiative or you have another removal one cardinal hand is going to be a removal that is how people win the leagues with a luck. By the way, I have a spoiler for you. My next two leagues, they were amazing. All right, we need a land to perfect to has to cast the monarch. He has just one card on hand again, but two blood tokens and also a synthesizer. So there's a lot of chances that he can find another removal to kill my creature. And he had, of course. Um, and GG, my friend. Really hard match. Monohead is really hard. Oh, we missing one monarch or one initiative in this. Huh. Who is that? Try hard, Mo. <laughs> How you doing, my brother? Funny name. And hand is really, really decent, huh? We had turn two sticker goblin with a monarch. All right, that can be elf or can be a ponza. If it's a group Ponza, it's going to be terrible because I have the land instructions. <clears throat> One, two, three. Ah, land destruction. And we don't know what color he's playing because Utopia is both for green. I don't know if that makes sense because he already have a lot of greens on the table. But it's all right. You see, that is how people want the challenge. Turn 1, Arbor Elf. Turn 2, Land Destruction. Turn 3, Avenging Hunter. That was amazing, my brother. Congratulations. Let's try something here also. 
so we play the goblin now you want to fix the mana for green oh the goblin was just four the goblin was five we could do a venge hunter but was just for four but it's all right we have the monarch and we have two more blocks we can kill a venge hunter and block arbor elf one two three four five six seven dinosaur for a lanoir okay lanoir was not bad but dinosaur was hard um we can we're not gonna block not a bad draw if you attack with everything you're gonna lose the charisma for lanoir probably <clears throat> i'm sorry we take out we take back monarch initiative but how are you gonna kill a venge hunter seven six i believe you just lose this game or we draw a removal in the end of the turn but you're gonna play a venge hunter right so doesn't matter Okay, here we can block Dinosaur. Take 7 for Avenger Hunter. He's gonna use the trap, we're going for 1. If I'm not wrong. So my man plays with black and green. Okay. Black and green Ponza. So we, right now we know he has the removals, he has the cast down, and also the monarch. Okay, we know his deck, and we lose. Um, we bring the brief weapons because it's really important to kill the arbor elf. He do the combo with the two piece power in his land, and a braid is not amazing in this match. Maybe Flurry Pen we could bring one also. I don't know if he's gonna play with Fog or not. I'm sorry, I cut a little bit here of the of the screen if you can see. In my next two leagues, also I did that. I didn't realize when I was recording. Interesting hand. We don't have Monarch. We don't have Initiative, but we're gonna play. Three creatures in turn one and attack with them. If it's gonna be enough, I'm not sure. There's an all wing deck. We attack with everything, he's going to 14. Okay, Arbor Elf. I don't believe he's going to block. He's gonna 7. If we find a boat, there is a chance here. Okay, my man has four, four green mana right now. He plays two Arbor Elves. Huh? Next turn, next turn he has a Dinosaur. Turn three. But he's going to be just on two. Oh no, he blocked one. All right, he's going to... Or seven okay he's dead for a boat we need luck if he plays another creature we start being a trouble he doesn't maybe he did a mistake he didn't play he played the ant for a forest he should bring the black and green land so I can see he doesn't have any black mana. He played wrong. I think so, right? Lucas. Alright, we bring back two upgrades and we take the Monarch artifact and also the initiative artifact, the torch. 
We wanna kill the any ramp that if he plays. We have a removal, but we don't have any green mana. Uh, there's a risk, so we mulligan. Oh, there's turbo. And we mulligan again, and there's a decent hand. We have turn one goblin sticker and a chrismo and a monarch. All right, it's gonna be all win hand. Utopia is pro for green again. That is amazing because if he play in maybe in turn two, he's gonna have the cast down. I'm not gonna say this deck is strong, but it's so fun. Look at that turn one. We have two creatures and a monarch. He doesn't have the third land, the second land. Oh man, you just made my day. We attacked for seven. Let's draw something good here. All right, next turn, we have initiative also. One, two, three, okay, he plays Ant, land destruction. Hope not. Yes, he did. Okay, we're not gonna have... That was perfect, right? One, two, three. So luck. Magic the Gathering. 70% luck, 30% skills. Look at that. We have four. Play lots of petal for green. Avenge Hunter. Initiative. We cannot lose this game anymore, I think. And he should not keep the hand with one mana but that was good for us okay if he has a fog can be a really problem so if he has fog we need to draw a burn because next turn is gonna be a trap he's gonna in one we attack just with two creatures, just in case if he has the Tango. Tango, Tango the name? The our creature is not gonna untap. Okay, moment peace. Bushwalker. Wild Grove. Just one card on hand. Oh, he moving a lot, right? I just realized it. One, two, three, moment piece again, no problem. We're gonna one burn. Dark hit. No, it's okay. Yeah, my brother, we have one card on hand and one turn to do something to win the game. Show me the power. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> Ooh, ah, two, one. That was really good. Playing against Amnaga. How do you, my brother? Show me your face. Colgate. And we have again Monarch turn one. I start kind of enjoy this deck. Ah man. How many journeys he has to play with? Three, four? The only four removals he has? I believe there's a hard game also. Hmm, I can smell the counter spell, right?
I believe I'm gonna try Sticker Goblin with Bushwalker. But I know he's gonna counter. No, he didn't. Interesting. And neither the Bushwalker. He take eight, it's gonna ten. There is a chance, huh? Initiative, initiative. Let's draw something good here. Initiative. <clears throat> hmm. My man has four cards. Oh, Guardian. Oh, we flooded. If you attack, he's gonna six. No, he's gonna seven. Plus Lightning Bolt, gonna four. Another land. So we're gonna lose Monarch now. And if he has the Prismatic Strand, it's gonna be a really hard match. Journey, so he doesn't have the Prismatic. Okay, win two life, we're gonna back set to nine. So he's gonna attack, take the Monarch, we wanted the back, so we're gonna kill with both. Take Monarch back, he's gonna eight. And we need to start draw something good here. Seven lands. We play with 17. Encampment? Yes. Draw a card, discard a card. Oh, there's the combo. He discard the cat and play it. That was really two for one. But we want to try to kill it because we want to bring back Monarch. How I can deal with the Guardian? I have to kill him before that happened. Okay, if my brother doesn't have a counter spell on hand, there's a chance because we're going to play Avenger Hunter. Oh man. Reordering. At least he didn't find the gates yet. I take back Monarch. We go to 14. I can say the game is really contra right now. So what are we going to bring against him after the sideboard? How many Pyro Blasts? How many Red Elemental Blasts? I'm going to bring all of that? Because I believe I want to bring also the brief weapon to kill Squadron Hawk, to kill the cat, the cats. Another spell? We just concede. GG, my brother. I want all cards, but I cannot bring all cards. So we got for this game. Three pyro and two flurry pain against the what's the name? Forgot. Prismatic strengths. Do I have any combo here? No. So it's a mulligan. There is a turn three if you don't draw a land. Really slow. But I don't want a mulligan to five. If I have a chance to combo in turn two, if we draw any ramp or another land. Mm. All right. Turn two, we don't have any monarch or initiative that is bad. Probably he's going to counter now. But we draw another one. That is important to have the Red Elemental Blast. Because we know he's going to counter. And he probably bring also for Hydro Blast.
let's see if he has right now hydroblast i don't believe you can win anymore he doesn't have all right so there's a chance do i want to cast simeon or want to kill his creature all right we play it And we draw the initiative artifact. <laughs> Alright, he attack, we block. Do I just want to cast the artifact or try to kill it first? Let's try. Okay. He doesn't have hydro or dispel we play a tap and pass next turn we have the initiative Ooh, and the bushwalker another gate four cards on hand one two journey Ooh. we need to draw something good avenging hunter He doesn't have counter spell. Amazing. If he plays two creature right now, I'm in trouble. And we flood it again. Seven lands. He didn't play any creature. Amazing. I put both back. Ah, draw lots of battle. Is not what I need. Do you think I was thinking here about the next ban? You know, the all the glitters change the format. But when I play against this deck, there is always a chance to win. Okay, so here we have a chance. We're gonna play that, he's gonna try counter, and we have the pyroblast. So, all the glitters is not the deck that everybody just play and win with this deck. I believe if you play with the top 8 decks right now in the format, we have a chance to win. But, Bushwalker and attack with everything. If he has... He has, yeah, okay. He has Prismatic Strands for what color? For green? It's okay. We still have two different colors. So it's not a deck that if you play, you win. But we have like three different decks with the card in the top eight. So I believe there is a ban. I hope they don't ban. I like the format right now. I play Pauper for years and I really believe the format is really, really interesting. After Lord of the Lord of the Rings with the cycling lands change the format a lot and i love it let's go for game three you have a chance here bring two briefing weapons one cast into the fire to kill small creatures and i took out lightning bolt how are we gonna kill the one three okay so the lands was a problem in pauper before but with the cycling, the cards for lands, with the learn reveal, the ants, the troll, the make the format really fast and fun and more consistent. All right, we have turn one, probably Sticker Goblin and Bushwalker. We move into six. And a pyroblast if we need for a counter. Do I want to use Rich of Flame? No, just okay. If he has either, it's gonna be a problem here, right? Blue Elemental Blast. I play wrong. I should play Rich of Flame first, and then I could use, do the, the rest. 
Mm. It's gonna be just a choo choo creature. I don't believe it's gonna change the game. We need to draw Monarch or an initi initiative to win. <clears throat> yeah, but we don't have the green. Ay ay ay. Stuck it. Guys, I had to train a lot this word. Initiative. Initiative. In Portuguese, you know, my first language is Portuguese. That we call iniciativa. Iniciativa to initiative is really different. I live in the United States, but I started learning English when I was 24, I believe, 25. I was a bartender in a cruise ship. I was traveling the world. And so that is, I have a strong accent. If you do understand some words that I say, if I sometimes I just speak too fast, I apologize. But I do, I try my best. I still prefer to do this content in English than in Portuguese. Okay, we can play Avenging Hunter, but we never can block a fly or the guardian with the protection for monocolor red so if he has journey we just lose the game because it's gonna be really hard to bring back the rest bring back the initiative do i wanna play bushwalker i don't think so i wanna keep pyroblast Eight cards on hand and he has journey. I believe it just lost. Alright, we try our best. At least we won one. We are two two. Let's go for last game against Pato President. With this name, a hundred percent sure he's Brazilian. All Portuguese. And where kids it? oh it's a mirror, huh? Probably a mirror. I could do turn two Avenging Hunter, but I prefer to turn one Monarch. Gonna bring back Monarch for you this turn or next turn? nothing all right good for me we attack for five he's gonna 15 we play another tapped land and i hope you can draw a mana so next turn we can do a venge hunter oh all right there's the poison deck all right oh guys i'm sorry because there's a little cut here in the screen so you cannot see the points counters <laughs> all right we have the first poison counter so if you never play against this deck he's gonna play the artifact with counters the land with counters and they have the spells that proliferate so he's gonna he needs one card to give him one poison counter and when he proliferate he's gonna proliferate all the counters on the game for the artifact for the land and the poison counter on me that's how he's gonna win this game and we don't see this deck a lot we don't see good results in the challenge but a few five zeros i don't believe this poison is a strong deck he gonna bring a lot of fog in the sideboard so we just win the first game okay and we bring the flurry pain he knows he's gonna bring the fog um red elemental blast and the pyro blast because he play with blue and we take out the removals the abrade the lightning bolt i think he didn't play with any creature and also the artifact monarch and the artifact 
torch the initiative i think that i think it's a good plan we could keep a braid and take out something else take out the burning trim sorry because it's gonna play with the artifact the add mana we mulligan again you, you see we mulligan with this deck a lot but look at that turn two we have initiative or okay i decide to play monarch i should keep the torch and take out the bushwalker and make turn two the initiative first so I bring bring a force and they could play avenging hunter in turn three also because he may have Hydroblast. He proliferate and draw a card. And we don't have any poison counter because we, we don't have any counter yet. Alright, I keep a Vigil Hunter but I don't have any force. There was a mistake. I should not keep the Bushwalker. And I said that my deck was the most expensive deck in the format. But maybe these poison counters is really expensive also because they play all those lands. And this land is really expensive. But we have more cards expensive like Avenging Hunter, Lotus Petal. Oof, so expensive deck. Okay, we see a chance here to attacks and he's dead. But president, you have to do something, my brother. Turn four, show me your power. Fog, tango. Alright, you prevent. And it's really bad for him because he cannot bring back Monarch because he doesn't have any creature. Lotus Petal. So next turn we can do Avenging Hunter. And have the initiative. Draw two cards and you bring out a poison counter. Alright, I have a poison counter now. One. Proliferate. So two poison counters. One, two, three, four. Um, all right, we want to counter that. So we have three. No, we're not going to have three. Just two. Proliferate again. So we have three poison counters. And he has one card really strong also. It, I think it's five mana. And draw three cards and proliferate. And see how many manas he has. Like he plays two of that and win the game. All right, so next turn he's dead if he doesn't have another fog. Oh, he's really dead next turn. All right, for mana. Mm -hmm. The artifact that add any mana. There I talk about. So that's that's kind of the new deck for the for because the new edition all this proliferate. And we have four poison counters for now, if I'm not wrong in my math. Five. And he has probably 
infinite man now. Where we are in six poison counters. If you don't know when you have ten poison counters, you're dead. By the way, did you watch the what was the name? In fact, the deck that I played was really fun. Oh, he won a lot of life this turn. Look at that. Back to 37. Ooh, really good draw. So we do Bushwalker, he's 37, but there's a lot of damage on board. Nineteen and just two cards on hand. Next turn we're gonna do seven plus fourteen damage. Oh, that was terrible for us. Draw three cards. Yeah, I believe you're dead now. Oh, we are really dead. My man has nine cards on hand now. And we are in maybe seven poison counters. <coughs> All right, we did our best here. Let's go for last game of this league. We keep the plan. We made no change. And I believe our deck is really strong against him. We have Monarch plus Burning 3 Emissai in turn 2. Unfortunately, we cannot do Avenging Hunter this turn, but let's go for the Monarch. Let's rush him. That's what we have to do. This Monarch turn one is really important because he cannot take that back. And if we draw any land or a ramp for for next turn, we can play the Monarch. Nice. Really good. Better than that just if you had the Bushwalker. <laughs> 7, he's going to 13. And if he doesn't win any life, he's dead next turn. If he has moment peace, any fog card, he's still dead. He doesn't have the second land. Do I want a red elemental blast? Yes. So we attack. So he needs to have fog and a counter to not die. Do you have Hydroblast? Unbelievable. Yes, he has a counter. Okay. So he survived two more turns. 
because we cannot gonna untap those cards. All right, now we know we are really, really dead next turn. Next turn, we can play two Elemental Blast plus Flurry Pain. And he did draw another land again. We draw a card, I believe. He just concede. He concede. All right, and you know me. If I have a treasure, I always gonna open for you. This league was a little old. I played this league, I believe, like three weeks ago, but I was really busy. I didn't post before. I'm sorry. Let's see if I had some luck with the treasure. Five play points. It is what it is. All right, friends. Three, two. We lost for a Colgate and for a Mono Red. Both of them is really hard match for us. And I'm happy with three, two with this deck. Mono Red has a lot of luck. He did Kudota plus Bushwalker in turn three. And the games that we lost for for the Colgates, he did the two three protection from Mono Color Reds. So it's a really hard match for us. The only way to block is with burning three emissary, but it was not enough. And the treasure was terrible. Don't open treasures. If you see my channel, it's not a good idea. Uh, we know some people is bringing the white color for the white monarch. Maybe it's a good idea. But if you want to have fun, I don't believe this deck is really competitive. For the sideboard, the sideboard was good. Larry Pain was good. Brief Weapon. Pyroblast and Red Elemental Blast is really important. We didn't play against Affinity, but also the Gorilla Shaman. And that's it, friend. Um, I'm going to bring more two or three leagues this week. We had a lot of trophies, really nice games. I tried to bring, to bring some fun decks like this one and more competitive decks. And subscribe to the channel, it's free. And I really appreciate you watching me. See you next time. Friends, the deck was really, really fun. If you want to watch another league, please click right here on top. If you can subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate that. Click right here to the side. And see you next league.